The following segment is sponsored by Providence Health and Services. Also tonight, if you or a loved one was experiencing symptoms of a stroke, would you know what to do? Doctors say recognizing the signs and acting quickly are vital to a patient's recovery. On a Sunday in March of 2021, Earl Larson and his wife Donna were working in the backyard. It's coming back. <laughs> I'm coming back. <laughs> then he felt something was wrong. Everything in my mind was thinking clearly, but I couldn't speak. So that was the first thing that entered my mind was, okay, your muscles are weird and all of a sudden you can't speak. It was the first sign that Earl was having a stroke. He was taken off by ambulance. And Donna, a former medical tech, knows just how close Earl came to something he couldn't recover from. He had um, what they call a pontine stroke. It happened in the ponds of the brain. And those strokes are the ones that are most likely to kill a person. Keyshawn Patel was Earl's doctor at Providence, Portland. Earl came to us um, last March. Dr. Patel says Earl is lucky that Donna was right there when it happened. She was very alert to his symptoms. Donna knew what to look for and knew to act fast. He came to us in the emergency room. We scanned his brain. We identified diagnosed as a stroke. We treated him with a blood busting medication uh, called TPA or Alteplase. And we were able to do that within 26 minutes from the time he arrived. Um, and that was instrumental uh, in his recovery. Doctors like Patel want you to remember to be fast, like Donna. Be fast is the acronym for the symptoms of a stroke. B for balance, E for eyes or loss of vision, F is for face droop, A is for arms. Can a patient raise their arms in front of them? S is for speech, and T is time to call 911. With every passing minute, there are more and more brain cells that suffer and they die. And um, we know by um, extensive stroke studies, um, early treatment saves lives and early treatment reduces likelihood of disability on a long-term basis. The stroke affected the right side of Earl's brain, but the fact that doctors were able to treat him quickly was crucial to his recovery. As you heard him talk about the impulsiveness or being demanding and stuff like that, and so that's you know, beside the physical piece where he had to learn to talk and walk and type and everything, the, um, the longer term is, is getting some of the behaviors back. Now he's doing really well with that, really well. After a year, Earl has made a remarkable recovery. He's determined to come back better and stronger than ever. You know, it's just one of those things where, you know, I have a reason to get back to normal, you know, because... I don't want her to have to do everything.